Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and we are back with another episode of Hidden Secrets, Easter Eggs, and Glitches on Forza Horizon 5. So, for those who are new to my channel and don't know what this series is, well, this is a series where you, the subscribers, send me interesting things that you have found in Forza Horizon 5, and the ones which are the most unique and haven't yet been showcased on my channel will get a chance of being featured in a future episode. To send me the things that you have found, you can either write them down in the comments section section below or direct messaging them to me through Instagram, Twitter or Xbox either by describing it or in video form. Please just make sure that it is in the best quality possible so it can be included in a future video. All of the links will be down in the description below. So without further ado, here are seven new secrets, easter eggs and glitches that were recently discovered in Forza Horizon 5. Starting off with number one, Ram TRX Spotted. So in Forza Horizon 5, and even back in Forza Horizon 4, there were several quote-unquote hidden cars that were spotted in the game, but unfortunately didn't actually end up being featured. A couple of examples I can think of right off the top of my head in Horizon 4 is the 2015 Ford Mustang GT, where it was shown as a Horizon promo poster, and also the Ford Fiesta ST being shown as a thumbnail in an early festival playlist. Even in Horizon 5, when the game first launched in the rival section we saw an image of the Lamborghini Huracan Evo which was yet to be featured in the game at the time and right next to it there's a Hoonigan Fiesta Gymkhana 8 which is not featured in Horizon 5 in any capacity other than this rival's image. However, we have spotted another vehicle in Horizon 5 through the Horizon promo section, and that is this, the Ram TRX concept. Currently, it's not in Horizon 5, but given what we have seen back in Horizon 4, this doesn't necessarily mean it will be featured later on through the life of Horizon 5. It could just mean at some point the Ram was featured in early builds of Horizon 5. But anyways, a huge shout out to Audio Jaguar 6351 from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number 2, Forzathon Shop Bug. Look, I get it if there are bugs and glitches in vehicles through animation as there are hundreds of vehicles in the game. I'm not trying to make excuses for Playground Games as if you are a long time subscriber of this channel you will know how harsh I can be but it's just something a little bit more understandable I guess. But how on earth does a still image or thumbnail become bugged? I mean, if we zoom in, you can clearly see that this Porsche Macan was pasted on top of some open wheel buggy. Look Playground Games, we noticed this, and I wonder what the original image was supposed to look like. Surely they could have just taken another photo, but anyways, I digress. Not the biggest problem in Horizon 5, but a huge shout out to many of you on Xbox and Instagram for pointing this out. Thank you. Number 3, let's fall right through. Now within the Forza Horizon series, particularly in 4 and 5, it's been quite common to fall through the map, especially after you have hit a tree or another immovable object. Not sure how a bug like this crept into the series, but it has led to many interesting clips that has been showcased throughout this series for the past few years. And here is a clip that is a little different to say the least. As we can see, this player is in the new Porsche 911 GT3, and as he drives away from the Horizon Rush Festival at full speed, just a few moments later, this happens. Like, how does he just fall through the tarmac without any collisions? Is there a small hole on that particular part of the road that he just somehow managed to enter? I have no idea, and has anyone else been able to replicate this? If so, let me know down in the comment section below, and a huge shout out to Alien Angel 2005 from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number four, a baseball stadium. So just a couple of days ago, I was driving around through the main city of Horizon 5 in Guanajuato, and I came across this. It looks as if it's some sort of a stadium, but there's no way of getting in it. Upon further investigation, this is apparently a baseball field, which is a little strange given that there are many houses surrounding it. So if you were to think about this in reality, if a baseball player connects with a huge hit, surely the chances of the ball shattering a window from a nearby building would be quite high. 
So I was trying to find a way to sneak in just to see how the stadium looks like, but the only real way is to look at it through Events Lab. And once you are in, this is how the stadium looks like from above. Now, even though we already have a massive stadium, I wonder if this baseball stadium was something that was left unfinished. We will never know. Anyways, a huge shout out to Mandamar from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number five, where is Rocket Bunny? So one of the biggest shocks when it comes to the launch of Horizon 5 is of course the absence of the Rocket Bunny kits. First introduced into the Horizon series back in Horizon 3, the Rocket Bunny kits were also featured in Horizon 4 too. And with the developers listening to the community and trying to improve upon the car customizations with the inclusion of many new aftermarket body kit brands like Duke Dynamics, AC Schnitzer, and a few others that cater specifically for JDM cars, it's a little strange to see Rocket Bunny, perhaps one of the OGs when it comes to actually truly customizing your cars in the Horizon series, being omitted in Horizon 5. We have received no answers as to why this was the case. Perhaps Playground Games lost a licensing deal with Rocket Bunny, or maybe Rocket Bunny themselves decided to not be featured in video games anymore, or sign an exclusive deal with one racing title only. We don't know, but because I have been playing Forza Horizon 3 quite a lot the last couple of weeks, just seeing the BRZ, Lexus RCF, and even the BMW E36 M3 really makes me miss Rocket Bunny, and I do hope they return sometime in the future. Number six, Null Car. Who remembers the Null Car back from Forza Horizon 4, where through the Super 7 creation, you could actually drive this car around. Now, just to let everyone know, the Null Car is not I repeat, not a Ford Fusion. It is an Australian FG Ford Falcon, and right now the only way we can get close to even seeing this car is through the paint options. So if you type in Null Car under search, there are a lot of paint jobs which actually feature the Null Car, but once you apply it onto the car it asks for, the Null Car won't appear. Which is a bit of a shame because this is one of those cars we would love to drive simply because we are actually not allowed to. I'm sure at some point down the line, we will be able to get our hands on this car. And if there is, I'll be the first to tell all of you who else wants to drive this grayed out null car in Horizon 5. I certainly do. And lastly, number seven, Hot Wheels Expansion 1 for Horizon 5 leaked and possibly confirmed. All right, it's been leaked by Steam, ladies and gentlemen. So just a few hours ago, this image surfaced on Forza Horizon 5 Steam page. Now, I'm not sure if it has been taken down or not, but we have got a copy of the thumbnail and it shows that for Expansion 1, it looks as if we're going back to the Hot Wheels with Horizon 5. Now, to be very honest, this does come to me as a shock as we already have the Hot Wheels expansion back in Horizon 3. And not only that, Hot Wheels released their own game not too long ago. For me, as much as I love the Hot Wheels expansion in Horizon 3, to do it again, it will be a very hard act to follow because now Playground Games must do more than what they did in Horizon 3, otherwise it will feel like a recycled expansion. I'm not going to say too much more about how I feel in this video, and although it hasn't been officially confirmed by Playground Games, this will be the first expansion for Horizon 5. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this will be, and I'm expecting it to be announced in a few days at the upcoming Xbox and Bethesda showcase. If there's one huge plus about bringing back Hot Wheels, is for those who got into the Horizon franchise after Horizon 3 and all of its add-ons were delisted, from the Microsoft Store, this will be your chance to experience it all again. But I can't guarantee if it will be better than the first. Either way, I, I gotta admit, I am excited to see more of the expansion and I want to know what you guys think about this. Are you happy, sad, indifferent? Let us know down in the comment section below because I do read your comments guys. 
So there we have it guys, seven new hidden secrets, easter eggs and glitches that we have found in Forza Horizon 5. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And also, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon 5 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.